no matter how pious you think you are, no matter how knowledgeable you think you are, no matter who you think you are, every single day, try to think how did shaitan come to me today? Because shaitan comes to everyone every day and tries his tricks. He either tries to make you lazy, which is something basic. You have to fight it. It's up to you. He either tries to make you worship someone, something besides Allah, including installing yourself as a deity besides Allah. You, that is dangerous, extremely dangerous. You need to be careful. Come back to Allah. He might make you turn away from your prayer. That is also dangerous. It's a pillar of Islam. You want to get closer to Allah. Allah gave you heartbeats approximately 136,000 heartbeats a day. What did you do for Allah? You can't pray five times a day, few minutes a day to thank Allah, to worship Him alone, to say, Oh Allah, when I return to you, have mercy upon me. Shaitan might come to you to make you undress, claiming I'm dressed. The Prophet ﷺ predicted this. He says there will come a time when you will find people undressed and they claim to be dressed. Kasiyatin ariyat, covered but uncovered. When you and I wear clothes, normally we wear clothes to cover. Mashallah, at this moment here in Zimbabwe, it's freezing. We're all wearing our clothing, our jackets, our perhaps thermals and so on and so forth. Mashallah. But sometimes the sun is out. And what do people do? They tend to cover themselves in order to show and reveal. So Allah says, don't wear tight clothing. Don't wear thin clothing that is going to show you're supposed to be covering. Adornment is permissible to the degree that you've covered yourself and you have not exposed yourself. On the day of happiness like this one, when we're celebrating the victory of man over devil, devil succeeds sometimes because we forget Allah and we start doing things that displease Allah. Neither did you read Salatul Fajr, nor did you dress appropriately, nor did you worship Allah, nor were your relationships okay. And perhaps you might have fallen in other traps. This is a reminder to say, don't do that, my brother. Don't do that, my beloved sister. Let's turn back to Allah. Pelt the devil and come back to Allah. This is why when the Hujjaj actually go to pelt in Mina, it is more symbolic than anything else. There is no physical devil there, but rather it is the devil within that you are taking out with every pebble that you have used in order to stone or to pelt. It's a small pea sized pebble. It shouldn't ever be bigger than that. Sometimes you witness people coming with a rock and saying, Ah, oh, Shaitan. I'm going to attack you today. You've been attacking me all my life. Such people are ignorant. They don't understand more than the physical part of it. It is the intention and the strength within and the removal of shaitan who attacks you on a daily basis with jealousy, with pride, with enmity, with hatred, with backbiting, with adultery, with gambling, perhaps with intoxicants, with so much more, you know. Primarily, it has all got to do with the love of this world.